Hey guys, it's Kevin over at Lakeside Buggies and I've got a new video for you today. And today is gonna be a really special video. We've got the Mad Jacks Gen 2 X Series. I've been cruising this thing around the neighborhood for the last couple of days, getting to know this cart a little bit better. And guys, Mad Jacks just really killed it with this golf cart. I mean, this thing is awesome. I wanna run through some of the features with you. This golf cart's actually got something a little special in it. Um, a brand new lithium battery product. This is Fleet Lithium. This thing is absolutely incredible. It carries this golf cart up to 35 miles an hour in, I don't know, 10 seconds, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Fleet Lithium is a brand new battery product on the market. They've got Bluetooth apps. They've got a GPS uh, app where you can track your battery. They've got more output than just about any other battery on the market right now. Guys, we're loving those batteries. Uh, we've tried them so far in the 50, uh, 51 volt, which is what I have there with the 105. And we've tried the 76 volt and their 160, 51 volt. Very, very nice batteries. Check out those connectors. <laughs> Everything from start to finish on these batteries is just top notch and couldn't be more excited to introduce those to you today on this Gen 2 X series. So let's go over some of the features on these Gen 2s that are different than the Gen 1s. Let's start off with the dash. I think that's something that everybody has seen in a few pictures or, you know, maybe even some videos, but not really up close. So. Let's start off with this dash. I mean, guys, wow. Wow. <laughs> We've got our Fleet Lithium battery gauge right here because the Eco battery that came in this golf cart did not read correctly on the state of charge meter. So we went ahead and just installed the Fleet Lithium battery gauge. Uh, really nice because you can see the amperage output down here. You can see that this uh, battery is able to put out about 300 amps. On this new dash, you've actually got wireless chargers on the left and right side. So you drop your phone right in there on either side and you've got a wireless phone charger. Billet brake pedals, just like before. Really nice floor mats. Really, really nice floor mats. I think they really, really killed it with this dash. Let's check out the screen. I know a lot of people are really curious about the screen. <clears throat> it's a nice looking screen guys um it's very simple just as you would kind of expect it to be it doesn't have apple carplay or anything like that it does have bluetooth and you've got some very small uh, four inch speakers on the bottom so as far as audio goes it's got audio um, there's an amplifier behind the dash and you can actually turn the volume up on that if your dealer gives you the cart and it's not very loud you can pull the screen off, just pull it forward, and you'll be able to get to that amplifier behind the dash, and you can turn the volume up on the amplifier itself. We noticed a huge difference in the factory stereo with that, but <clears throat> at Lakeside Buggies, we like to do things a little bit extra, so we went ahead and put the new 28-inch Sound Extreme Eco X gear soundbar. This thing is absolutely amazing. Sound quality is incredible. Uh, one of my favorite features about this soundbar, though, the lights are, are really cool. They're diff way different than before. Even on the back, the back light uh, actually moves and scrolls. One of my favorite features about this new sound bar is gonna be this right here. So turn the cart off. Okay, sound bar's off. Turn the golf cart on. Speaker and the speaker on. comes on. Speaker mode. I absolutely love that about this new sound bar. So before you'd have to get in and you'd have to turn on the sound bar. And on my Epic golf cart that I have at home, I've got four of these sound bars, the 26 inch sound, sound extreme bars, and it sounds amazing. Don't get me wrong, but you have to turn on four of them. And then you've also got the subwoofer down here, which some people have uh, had less than desirable experiences with. I think the new sound bar has a higher voltage pre out, and this is just a theory. But I think the new soundbar and the subwoofer work really, really well together. The thing sounds phenomenal and really bumps. 
and then you know, of course you have a DC um, switch on there. So if you wire that directly into your voltage reducers the way we did, you'll be able to turn that on and off directly with the cart. And then we did not do the EcoCast to the sound to the subwoofer. Um, our experience is that the EcoCast has been unreliable, but with this new soundbar, that may have changed. I don't know. Uh, so we have an RCA directly to that. We're also going to install the underglow kit from Eco X Gear. And that's another cool feature about these new soundbars. So I've already got the wires run. I just didn't actually install the, uh, I didn't actually install the underglow. It was pretty late last night. We were tired. We just ran home. But there it is right there. So that's going to be the lights controller. And that'll actually control an entire set of lights, which I have, I believe, under the seat here. Yeah. And this is the output that I ran to it. So basically, once I get a chance or the energy to run those underglow lights, I'll plug it into this. And then now my underglow will flash right along with the music. And that'll be really, really neat. So those are... The dash is one of the biggest upgrades on the new Gen 2 X series. Of course, you've got some really cool features uh, like a backup camera right up here. It's a big, bulky backup camera. <clears throat> does the job shows you what's behind you i do like that it's mounted up here and the reason for that is because some of our other carts have them mounted here we've typically mounted them down here all of those places are terrible when we're transporting a lot of the times the carts will bump into each other and play bumper cars on the trailers those cameras get bumped and then you've got to readjust them but up here nothing will ever touch it it's out of the way and the visual It's, it's pretty good up there. I mean, that's a really good view from up top. So that's not, not too bad. So on the dash, you've also got these lockable glove box doors. I think you can see that. So I didn't really mention it too much before. Um, back seat's gonna flip open, just like the one before. And you've got a really large storage area down here. You can't use the ice chest cooler that's typically made for this cart. So don't expect that. That is not an option for this. Um, and the reason for that is going to be uh, uh, the tailgate does not fit that. So I do believe if you remove the tailgate top piece, you may be able to fit it in there. And no, I don't, I don't think so. I think even if you took this off, this might block it. Something worth trying maybe for another video. But for today, we're going to go with that. That doesn't fit. There's a lot of accessories available for these Magix golf carts. One of them is gonna be a golf bag holder and it just attaches right here and it uses your foot well as a bag well. And this cover goes over that in case you're not planning to use it. And that's a really thin, just plastic cover, slips on and off. This is the Colorado seat. This paint is the white, uh, the new white color. And sorry, it's a little dirty. I've been driving it around, but this is a pearl white and it's amazingly pretty looks a lot like the mercedes-benz amg pearl white color couldn't go wrong with that in any way some of the new colors are pretty incredible and then we've got a new set of 14 inch um, gtw wheels and i can't remember the name of these guys i'm sorry but that's the 14 inch gtw with a 22 inch off-road tire <clears throat> The Gen 2 X series all seem to come with the deluxe LED headlights. So we had that in our other videos, but apparently it's not a standard feature. So I want to let you guys know um, with the Gen 2s, that's a Bluetooth controllable uh, LED. So you'll be able to change the settings in the Bluetooth app. <clears throat> One of the big things that they upgraded on the Gen 2s that I really like is they've now got a fender liner down here at the bottom. So before you would just be able to see the aluminum, you can see, you know, all the wires, you see everything down there, just similar to like how the Navitas carts and, and everything else you see out there are, but they created a really cool fender liner. So now that fent and finish on the front just looks so much cleaner when you're driving down the road in the new X series. I mean, it looks really well put together. Another new feature on these new X series Gen 2s is gonna be a larger brake rotor and caliper. There were a lot of complaints about the stopping power of the Gen 1s. We were able to get the Gen 1s to stop pretty well just by turning up the regen braking, but a lot of people complained about it. It's not something you can do on your own if you don't have the Bluetooth app, so your dealer would have to do that for you. Uh, but the Gen 2 solved that issue by using a larger uh, rotor. 
definitely has a lot better stopping power than it did before. <clears throat> Some other cool features. These will come with these storage bags. That's a standard feature. And I actually really like this. If you're playing golf, you can put your phone right up in here and you can actually see your phone. If you're connected to the Bluetooth stereo, you'll be able to hear that somebody's messaging you. You've got tons of storage on this thing and it actually looks really nice. I, I like this a lot. I think it's a great addition. Then you've got the rear view mirror and you can see me right there making a video with the phone. So that's gonna be a, rear view, a standard rear view mirror that comes with these carts. Uh, and of course the triple track roof, which makes it really simple to add accessories. You see the camera's attached to that, the bag is attached to that. There's an enclosure that actually attaches here along this track, it makes it super simple to take it on and off. And then there's an additional sound bar attachment, which goes right there between the struts. No cutting, no drilling, absolutely no real effort required to install these sound bars. You just buy these little uh, sound bar uh, uh, brackets and they slip right on, bolt right on. Your sound bar goes right in there and you're done. Of course you have LED headlights, tail lights, and you have sequential turn signals on the back. Not sure how well you're gonna see those headlights. There's a little light bar attachment uh, for these carts too that Magix came up with that comes right up here on the front. I think it's a great addition. These carts are not super bright, just like every other golf cart on the market. Headlights are not super, super bright. But the tail lights are really cool. You've seen the Storm body kit, you've seen their tail lights. You may or may not have seen how these lights, get your hazard switch. You may not have seen how these lights actually uh, blink. So I'll turn that on so you can check it out. Super bright in the front. And on the rear, there's sequentials, which I think is just the coolest thing ever. It looks way cooler at night, I'll tell you that. And uh, yeah, so guys, let's take this thing for a ride. I'm over here where I live in my neighborhood. Um, trying to keep the video somewhat short. Mostly wanted to go over the features of the golf cart. We've gone for rides on a million of them, but uh, you know, the X-Series definitely has a better riding suspension than just about anything we've ever taken for a ride. <clears throat> and that's gonna be mostly because of the McPherson strut system that they designed on this cart where it's actually got a bearing up at the top. You can turn the steering wheel with just like a single finger. Um, the turning radius is incredible. I think I need to definitely demonstrate that. But yeah, so we're on rocks off road here. Very easy to turn the steering wheel, even in a heavy lifted golf cart. Got a car coming. The power on this thing is incredible, especially with that fleet lithium battery. I mean, it just gets up and goes. You can hear that motor just screaming. So that's cool. It's a little wet out there on the trails. I'm gonna stay off of those today. I'm just gonna drive down here to the golf clubhouse, show off the new X series a little down here. But you can see how rough this road is. At the end of the day, it's still a golf cart, but it handles these rough roads really well. And we're also going 30 miles an hour. This one's programmed with an upgraded battery. Don't expect yours to necessarily do that. That's something that I did on this. This is my personal demo. And when these leave our shop, they're going to go 25 miles per hour. Um, if you have the ability to tune these or the programmer, you're more than welcome to. You'll avoid your factory warranty doing so. I, uh, I have never held a factory warranty on any vehicle I've ever owned for more than a week, so I have no problem voiding my warranty, but just be aware that if your car goes into service and you've changed parameters on your controller, you've changed your battery, you've changed anything on it that was not factory uh, with the wiring system or the electrical system, you're gonna be voiding your factory warranty. I only say that because I have to. 
I'm not telling you that because I think you're going to cause yourself any issues with it. All right. My hat's about to fly up. I need to throw my hat on backwards here. I'm going a little too fast to let go of the steering wheel, though. People asking me how, 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 how do you do it? Well, you find somebody that knows how to program these golf carts. You definitely don't do this on your own. I don't recommend doing it on your own. I don't want anybody to go out there and grab a programmer and start changing settings in the controller. You can damage these controllers. You can damage these batteries and damage the carts. And I do not want to give you the false impression that it's just, you know, for anybody to do. Pay somebody that knows what they're doing to come tune your golf cart if you want it to go faster. Trust me, it's worse on a bicycle or my truck than it is in this golf cart. This thing is just hollering. I really, really enjoy the suspension on these X-Series golf carts. I think it may be one of my favorite riding carts that we actually carry now. Um, steering is nice and smooth. The acceleration is nice, braking is nice, the comfort creatures on this thing are great. Like they've really, really knocked it out of the park with this golf cart. We got about 17 minutes into this video so far, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I'm gonna pull over here and just kind of over, uh, run over the cart with you guys uh, just one more time quickly. All right. So guys, again, we have the 2024 Matt Jax X series Gen 2. This is going to be the pearl white. This battery in the golf cart is not the factory eco battery. It is a fleet lithium battery, which is a huge upgrade. If you're looking for a fleet lithium dealer, you'll have to actually go on their website and find a dealer in your area. They do not currently ship out directly. So you'll wanna go ahead and call uh, your local dealer and ask if they carry fleet lithium batteries price points just about the same as every other brand however these do have higher output and better features and they look really nice as well the gen 2 x series is an incredible value they're 14 695 it's hard to beat it for that price i mean this has got to be one of the nicest golf carts i've ever seen come through our shop so 14 695 it'll come with a factory eco battery lithium battery Everything that you see included here, different size wheels, uh, different, different types of wheels, different seats, different configurations and colors. So many options on these carts. It's absolutely incredible. It's a great program. We're super proud to be a part of it. And if you guys are interested in one of these new Gen 2 X series, give us a call at Lakeside Buggies. Visit us online at lakesidebuggies.com. And we may or may not have all of these on our website, but we do have 30 of them in stock in all different colors. So give us a call, place an order, we'll get you guys set up. 
And also we have about 10 of the Gen 1 X series in stock still. And we're getting those out the door, I believe at 12,000. So a little bit bigger savings than we had before. It's about $2,500 less than these. They have the same suspension, generally the same golf cart overall, except for the few upgrades like the brakes, the dash, and the uh, rotors in the front, which are all really huge upgrades. But if you're looking to save a little bit of money and still have a really cool golf cart, the Gen 1s are available for you guys for about $2,500 to $3,000 off. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and enjoy the rest of my Saturday afternoon. Thanks for watching our videos, guys, and we'll see you soon.